we improve the scalability of the system but at some cost we can either have consistency or availability in case of strong consistent system the moment data is updated by one user the same data is available in all the nodes updated values will be synced to all the nodes but not immediately and how we can achieve eventual consistency in our system what if the message delivery itself fails what should we choose while designing our system why eventual consistency is needed in microservices in the last two videos we have looked at two phase commit and three phase commit which are traditional protocols that try to keep the distributed operations in sync today we will see a modern approach which has been adopted widely in the industry in the distributed systems we know we have multiple nodes and data is getting stored at different locations to ensure high availability and make sure our system is more fault tolerant with this we improve the scalability of the system but at some cost we have already learned that in our cap theorem video that for a distributed system when there is a network partition we can either have consistency or availability now by storing the data at multiple servers we have achieved availability because if one node is down then user will be served with the other nodes data so now let's understand what is data consistency in distributed systems in distributed system it is possible that one user is reading the data and other user might be updating the data and also it's highly likely that both the users are connected to different nodes in the system imagine you write an update to node 1 and that change takes time to get synced to node 2 due to replication lag then node 1 and node 2 will temporarily have different and inconsistent version of same data at this moment if some user requested the data and is served from the node 2 then there is a high chance that user will be served with the outdated data so how this problem can be handled now to handle the consistency we have two different categories of models one that supports strong consistency and the other one that supports eventual consistency in case of of strong consistent system the moment data is updated by one user the same data is available in all the nodes so that any read that happens after that update will return the updated value two phase commit and three phase commit are the strategies that falls under strong consistency model which we have already discussed in the previous part on the other hand in case of eventually consistent system updated values will be synced to all the nodes but not immediately it can take few milliseconds or seconds depending on the business requirements and the replication strategy so there is no guarantee about how soon this sync up will happen during the time sync up is not completed different nodes will serve different versions of data which may lead to the temporary inconsistencies now let us understand this with a very simple example imagine you are updating your profile picture on social media application for that you log into the social media platform and update your profile picture that profile picture update let's say sent to node 1 because maybe that is closest to you so you are connected to node 1 so the updated profile picture will be updated on node 1 only now node 1 updates your profile picture and instantly replies done that is the profile picture is updated but behind the scenes node 1 starts sharing the new picture with node 2 and node 3 which are also another nodes in the distributed system now because you are very excited to share this new profile picture with your friend so you tell a friend across the country to check out your profile your friend logged in to the social media platform and their request goes to node 2 which has not received your updated profile picture yet so they will see your old photo but a few seconds later node 2 and node 3 will catch up now all the nodes show the latest photo this is eventual consistency in action here you can observe one behavior you immediately see the new updated photo on your profile because you are connected to the same node which has the updated data but a friend on the other side of the world might see your old photo for a few seconds due to replication lag after all the nodes are synced everyone sees the updated photo this temporary inconsistency is acceptable in few type of systems like social media platforms where it is okay to see outdated data for some time for the sake of availability and fault tolerance we can use it for social media details for example like count and shares it is acceptable to have temporary inconsistent data without impacting the user experience also the recommendation systems are a very good use case for events eventual consistency now let us understand how we can achieve eventual consistency in our system we can implement the eventual consistency using combination of few design patterns first one is asynchronous messaging 
or event driven messaging so in this instead of waiting for a response we use a message broker as a middleware so we publish the message let's say to a kafka topic and then other services will consume that message and process accordingly this means the calling service can move on and rest of the processing can happen eventually in other service for example when the order service places an order it publishes an event to the orders topic with the status order placed and then the inventory and notification services consume that message and update their state to reduce the stock and send the order confirmation email this is also the basic idea behind saga design pattern as well we will discuss that in detail in our next part now we see one service publishes a message to the broker now what if the message delivery itself fails in that case we can opt for retries but using retry can lead to another problem which is duplicate actions and to handle that all the operations must be idempotent idempotent means if we run the same operation multiple times it will have the same effect as if we are running it only once let's discuss one more scenario by using the same order service example so before publishing the event to kafka topic the service will write the data to its local database now what if the service updated the local database but crashes before publishing the event to kafka to avoid this we can use design patterns such as outbox pattern it is used to reliably publish the message without losing them in this instead of directly publishing to kafka or rabbit mq we first write the event to local database table that acts as an outbox component then a separate service or a thread will read that table and publishes it into the desired message broker we will discuss the outbox design pattern in detail as well in the upcoming videos so now the big question is what should we choose while designing our system should we go for strong consistency or eventual consistency well there is no best solution the correct choice depend on your business needs if your priority is data consistency that is all users must see the most up to date data then use strong consistency it is very common in banking systems inventory management or booking systems it will ensure the correctness of data but it may increase the latency and reduce the availability of the system in distributed architecture but if your system can tolerate slightly stale data in favor of better performance scalability and availability then you should go for eventual consistency it is ideal for social media caching layers analytics and content delivery systems in this you get faster read writes and always available system but in reality it's not always either black or white it's always that gray area so in real systems many system use hybrid approach where they use strong consistency for the consistency critical operations and eventual consistency for less critical data so before you decide anything always ask yourself how fresh does your data needs to be also can users tolerate minor delays in data sync and the most important what is the cost of showing stale data in your business you can choose based on your user expectations and failure tolerance another important question is why eventual consistency is needed in microservices now we know microservices are independent units that communicate over the network and each service has its own database transaction boundary and failure modes so coordinating them in a strongly consistent way is very expensive fragile and it also violates the loose coupling principle instead we allow each service to make local decisions and then inform the other services asynchronously this gives us better performance higher availability and resilience to the partial failures instead of trying to guarantee the perfect consistency consistency at all the times modern systems aim for eventual consistency it is the key idea behind modern system design and once you understand this mindset you are ready to learn the most practical implementation of all the saga design pattern where services use local transactions and compensate when things go wrong and that's exactly what we are going to learn next so make sure you like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when the new video is uploaded see you in the next one till then let's keep learning